The life of an offensive lineman is a lot of guts and oftentimes not a lot of glory. But for Dylan Radins, it is the perfect spot for his demeanor and beliefs. I take pride in the fact that it's the only position in all of sports where it's my sole purpose to protect another player. Uh, so it ties into my faith, it ties into me trying to be a servant leader. That's what they teach us at NDSU. Both Dylan and his brother Nick got involved in football at an early age. Their father Jeff was a big part of getting them involved. I mean, ultimately, he was the guy who wanted us to play football in the first place. So football is kind of, in a, in a way, it's a testament to try and make my, just making my dad proud and putting, uh, putting the Raiden's name out there. But when Dylan was only 12 years old, his father passed away. And it was his mother, Kathy, that kept the family forging ahead. She's the rock to our family. Like, uh, after my dad passed away, obviously, we, we had father figures in our life. But, I mean, she's the one who kept it all together. She kept us in three sports always, uh, never let us slack after that, never let us uh, use our dad's death as an excuse or anything like that. She always pushed us to do our best. Radins came to NDSU after winning two state championships at Becker High School in Minnesota. But when he got to campus, there was a lot to learn. When I came out of high school, I was predominantly a defensive end in high school, so uh, really learning everything about the position. I uh, had to gain weight, had to learn how to pass set, never even knew how to do that. But I'd say the biggest thing is being able to play with your hips low, uh, get good feet position, and play with your hands. The, one of the reasons why I went to NDSU was because of the O-line coach, Connor Riley. Uh, he's awesome. He's a huge father figure of mine for the longest time. Um, but yeah, being able to go out on that field and being able to just instill what he, uh, or put out on the field what he instilled in me. and. Being able to, I was almost like trying to make him proud and just being able to, to go out there and play football. Raidens added 30 pounds as a red shirt and earned a starting spot the next season. But after just 15 plays on the field, a promising start ended quickly after tearing his ACL. I was terrible. Uh, it was life changing. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that happen. Uh, in your mind when that happens. Um, I, it was super detrimental to me for a few weeks there. I had no idea what I wanted to do uh, if, with football, let alone with my life. Um, so it was a lot of soul searching there, a lot of finding my faith, a lot of figuring out why I want to continue playing football. He bounced back strong as a sophomore and continued his growth as a junior. Along the way, several coaches mentioned that a future in professional football was a good possibility. They must have saw something that I didn't, but at the time I was just a kid having fun playing football. So just uh, very blessed that uh, it turned out the way it did. He only got a chance to play in one game his senior season due to the pandemic, but it was a memorable one. After heading back to the locker room, head coach Matt Entz was waiting for him with a special invitation from the Senior Bowl. They had cameras following me around everywhere. I was like, why are these cameras here? Dylan Ray. Yeah, it uh, got in the locker room and I had no idea. I was blindsided by it. Coach Entz brought it out. Right when I saw the orange on the envelope, I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. And then I was so oblivious and I went up to my mom and she was even more oblivious. Raiden stood out at the Senior Bowl, catching the eye of many NFL scouts and drew plenty of attention at his pro day as well. continues to train, waiting for the moment to hear his name called in the 2021 NFL Draft. And when that time comes, he knows it will be emotional. I'm probably going to cry, and then I'm probably going to think of my dad. Um, those are probably the two things that, I'm gonna, uh, that are going to happen. I know he's up there smiling no matter what I do, so uh, not too much pressure on my shoulders, but uh, at the same time, it's, uh, it's going to be exciting times just being able to see how far I can pursue this uh, for my family and for him. With Dylan moving on, his brother Nick now wears the number 75 jersey at NDSU, carrying on that Raiden's name in the program. Many draft analysts expect Dylan to go somewhere in the top 50 picks after a solid pro day in Fargo last month. The NFL Draft starts on Thursday, April 29th.